With age comes wisdom and eventually the need for some magical enhancements. Hello everyone, my name is Paige and welcome to your Grub Report for March 19th, 2022. And in this episode, I'll be covering the Slugfest advertisement add-ons for the Atticus Doom Magical Enhancement Kit and the Glow in the Dark Multicolor Skulls 12-Pack. That's right, just two pre-orders yesterday, leaving you with enough money to pay your bills and take your lady out for a nice dinner. Treat them right, fellas. So to add a little bit more context to this pre-order, this was an advertisement add-on that was revealed on the very last page of the comic book that came with Atticus Doom, where they teased two new items that were going to be coming soon. The date was given if you scan the QRC code, which was a direct link to the website that told you to come back on March 18th. You were also given a crypto cog code as well that uh, once the code was broken, turned out to be the word Necroverse. Hmm. Coincidence? So fast forward through the week and through speculation on March 18th at 11 a.m. A reminder email is sent out by Slugfest that a shop drop will go live at 1 p.m. There was also a little blurb in there that if you spent more than $40 and you used the code provided, that there would also be a free gift. And just in case it's been a while, if you use the COG and if you need a little bit of a refresher, there was a link to the COG instructions at the bottom of the email. And I'll make sure that I put that in the description box below. So now that we're all caught up, the pre-orders for these two items went live at one o'clock. And the first two items that I grabbed were the skulls. Now, this is because I have post-traumatic skull disorder from the first time that I tried to get the matte skulls. I put them in my car and they sold out immediately, which is what these items did within 10 minutes. See, always go with your gut and always bet on black. Staff for nerds, I will add that we have gone 10 pre-orders without any problems since the last site crash. So hats off to the IT team for that one. And even more stats for nerds, this will be our sixth skull pack, seventh if you include the Cranium 2-pack. I don't believe you. <sighs> Fine. Bag of skulls, glow-in-the-dark skulls, matte skulls, cosmic skulls, neon nightmare skulls, and the glow-in-the-dark multicolor skulls. Well, agree to disagree. So if you did buy any of these packs previously, you're pretty familiar with what you're going to be getting. But just in case you haven't, you're going to be getting 12 multicolored glow-in-the-dark skulls. Green, white, blue, red. And purple horseshoes! Part of this complete This was a limited edition exclusive, again, hence the reason why it probably only lasted about 10 minutes. The price point for this was 25 bucks, and there was a two-person purchase limit. Now, I said this before, it did sell out in 10 minutes, but 10 minutes later, it was flipped to the waitlist status. So if you didn't have a chance to pick these up, I would try to get on the waitlist as soon as you can, because even though people say they don't want these, there's always seems to be people that want to jump back on board when they see things that sell out. What makes it worse is when people say pass or trash, They'll be looking for them later, and they want it at retail or a lower price point. You guys have got... Stop it. Get some help. The internet, it never forgets. And people that are in a position to help you probably won't because you've been band brashing or complaining. And the ones that are going to help you are the ones that are going to be charging you aftermarket pricing. So if it's not your cup of tea, just relax, scroll past it, and just let people enjoy the hobby. Steps off the soapbox. So this was a buy now, which means it'll probably ship within a few weeks. Uh, there's going to be a link to the waitlist below. Good luck. The second pre-order for the day was the Atticus Doom Magical Enhancement Kit. This was an add-on complement to the recent Atticus Doom release. This is an 18-piece accessory set that includes the king in yellow Atticus Doom head. Three Philosopher Eyes, which I thought they might include in this pack. These are the little golden eyes that fit in the brain of the original, but you can also use them in the Necroflame uh, effect piece. But this is also going to be able to fit inside the eye. So having these additional ones, I think is pretty cool. There is also the, uh, here we go, the Libro del Port Nair Grimoire, also known as the Book of Black Doors, helping to steadily build up your occult library. With the Book of the Black Doors, I won't be calling it that other name because I can't. You will be getting one magical blast vector piece that fits into the eyeball of the grimoire. One spiral spell effect piece. Three scroll cases with three sacred scrolls. You're also going to get two cindered palm flame effects. And four magic spell effect pieces. 
Now, I like how they showed other characters using these effects. I think sometimes it gets a little lost in all this. Most people are so character focused that they don't realize that these items can be used for other magical creatures or characters such as Doctor Strange, Constantine, Doctor Fate, etc, etc, etc. A little bit of the dark arts magic here. I like how this effect looked. When I first saw it, I immediately thought it would be something that I could use for Green Lantern. Possibly even some kind of like kinetic ray for the Black Skull Death Brigade. And what I'm saying is there's a lot of possibilities for this. So price point for this item was $35. It also had a four per person customer purchase limit. It has an ERD of August to October 2022. And while we're talking about ERDs, I have a couple of updates for you. I did a little sweep of the pre-orders that are currently in the queue uh, so far, and there were no changes. So that's a good thing, right? If you are interested in the status of your favorite figure or what's going to be coming out, I'll drop a link in the description below. That'll take you to my Facebook page. All you have to do is go to the pre-order releases folder, and you're going to find a visual guide that will tell you everything. The estimated release date, how many times they've been pushed back, sellout times, pricing, and a whole bunch more. Stats for nerds serve to you on a silver platter. If you do decide to share a steal, please make sure you give credit to the page. I see what I did there because there is a lot of time, effort, research that goes into collecting all this information. A little bit of last minute news to end everything off for you. Charge notifications were set for March 21st, uh, 2022 for Spider-Man 2099. So this is going to be our first licensed character of the year. And it's also going to be our first Marvel character since last year when we got Thanos, which I think was in June. And while I was putting this video together... Because I spit hot fire. Charging notifications also went out for the five points extra large Godzilla Destroy All Monsters 1968 round two box set. That is also going to charge on March 21st, 2022. Now, this is the round two version. Uh, there is also a round one as well, but I haven't received notification for that one. But I am assuming that that will follow pretty soon, if not alongside of this one. So see, good things come to those who wait. And I hope everyone is financially ready for this because it seems like they're going to start opening up the floodgates. And that is all I have for you today, fellow collectors. Hope everyone has a safe and fun weekend. My name is Paige. This has been your Grub Report for March 19th. 2022 and always remember they're just toys so have fun <laughs>